What's up mga kabukol and welcome po sa ating third video. Today, we are going to talk about fish tank maintenance. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell para manotify ka sa aking upcoming videos. Also, like and share na rin my Facebook page found in the description below. Alright, let's start! The two main things that comes to mind when it comes to fish tank maintenance is filtration and water change. Ang dalawang ito kasi complements one another. Nakadepende ang frequency ng pag-water change mo sa type ng filtration mo, whether it is a powerhead filter or sponge filter or both. If ang gamit mo ay powerhead filter, you can do a less frequent water change as it is more powerful at filtering your water compared to sponge filter. If my powerhead filter ka, you can go as frequent as once a week mag water change, and that is the maximum. Compared naman sa sponge filter na it's a must to do water change every 3 days, since mas mahina ito when it comes to filtration. However, it is still highly recommended na mag water change every 3 days, even if naka powerhead filter ka. It is not a must do thing, but it is highly recommended. While we are talking about powerhead filters, ano nga ba ito? Ang powerhead filter ay may dalawang main components, the powerhead and the filter box. Ang powerhead ay dapat naka-fully submerged sa tubig. Hinihigop nito ang tubig at pinapump sa filter box. Ang filter box naman ay naglalaman ng mga filter media. Um, ano po ang filter media? May dalawang klase ng filter media ang mechanical at biological. Ang mechanical filter media ay ang tagasala ng duming nakikita ng ating naked eye. An example of this is a filter wool. While ang biological filter media naman ay para sa mga beneficial bacteria, dito na mamahay ang mga good bacteria. Examples nito ay bacchirols, pumis, corals, zeolites, and lava rocks. Kaya, it is only logical na nauuna dapat ang mechanical media bago ang biological media sa ating filter box. If medyo blurry pa, I will explain this deeper on our upcoming videos. You have to take note na kailangan ding linisan ang ating filtration systems every month or two. And here is how. When the time comes na mag water change ka na at the end of every month, huwag mo muna itapo ng tubig. Ilagay mo muna sa maliit na basin and after that, kunin mo ang sponge filter or filter media mo at hugasan ito dito. Tanggalin mo ang mga lumot. Huwag kang gumamit ng chlorinated water kasi baka mamatay ang mga good bacteria na nakadikit doon. After linisan, ibalik mo na and you're done. Ganun lang kasimple. Important note, huwag mag-overfeed ng isda. Tansyahin lamang ang kayang ubusin ng iyong isda. Uneaten food can rapidly pollute your tank and mas mapapadalas ang iyong pag water change. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy grooming. Newbie Groomer out. Click here if you haven't watched my previous videos.